God bless everyone. Today is Judge's Intro, Friday, November 6, 2020, 11-6-20. Yesterday we read Joshua 25, and it talked about the history of the Israelites listed. The covenant renewed at Sheshem. Joshua dies at age 110. 110 years old. He is buried in the promised land. Judges intro. The books of Joshua and Judges tell the story of the early years of Israel as a nation. They describe how the Israelites conquer and occupy the land of Canaan and then struggle to live up to their covenant with God. Under my likes I highlighted, struggle to live up to their covenant with God. That's what we do every day. The Bible's drama here moves to an important new stage. God's people are in God's land, yet it becomes clear that the road to reconciliation between God and humanity will not be easy. Under my likes I highlighted, the road to reconciliation between God and humanity will not be easy. The story describes the preparations and battles of Israel's invasion, as well as how the land was divided among the tribes. Since pockets of resistance remained, Joshua in his final speech urges each tribe to take full possession of its territory. Next, he leads the people to renew their commitment to the covenant relationship with God. Under my likes, I highlighted, renew their commitment to the covenant relationship with God. Judges then relates the troubling cycle of Israel's repeated covenant breaking, falling under the rule of other nations, and then crying out to God for help. God responds by raising up judges to fight for them and save them. But the relief is temporary as Israel falls back into wrongdoing once again. Judges are both military leaders and legal authorities. Alright, under my likes I highlighted, troubling cycle, repeated covenant breaking, falling, and then crying out to God for help. God responds, save them, but the relief is temporary, falls back into wrongdoing once again. Just as Israel was made up of 12 tribes, so the book tells of 12 judges, but as the people persist in going their own way, we see that they have rejected their true judge and ruler. As the anarchy and atrocities increase, Israel's need for a king comes more evident. By the end, the questions are urgent. Can Israel fulfill its destiny and calling to be God's light to the, new, to the nations? Who can rule Israel to help it find its proper role in the drama? Alright, that's it, but under my likes I highlighted as the people persi persist in going their own way, we see that they have rejected their true judge and ruler. And then I highlighted, fulfill his destiny and calling to be God's light. All right, that's it for today. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.